Super Mario Galaxy! Nostalgia is a massively powerful thing in my opinion. Sort of like a time machine in a sense. A time machine that can bring you back to a time and place that was magical and fun from your childhood. Well, for me at least. A time where I had more innocent outlook on the world. I mean, back when I was a kid, my biggest problem was the blue shell that my cousin just threw at me, Mario Kart DS, yes, and if you're watching this, I still hate you for that. Anyway, ju ju just for the record, here we played Mario Kart every week at my uh, nan's house. Uh, it used to be Mario Kart DS, and then later when it came out, Mario Kart 7, and I was the best at Mario Kart. You can all suck it. But if I was to pinpoint one single game that defined my childhood, it have to be Super Mario Galaxy. I mean, those review scores are higher than my heart rate when I'm fighting a PK fire spamming nest online. I hate you, you goddamn little psychic bitch! I was about five or six at the time I first played Mario Galaxy, and this game really, really sparked my love for Mario and just video games in general. This game does everything right, in my opinion. The gameplay, the level design, the music, everything. I mean... I just hop into the first level of the game, and not even play, but just listen to the soundtrack, and I instantly start smiling. This game is just happiness all around. It's sort of like an embodiment of my childhood on a disc that's kind of creepy. Here's the thing, though. Even today, Galaxy holds up as a really solid good game. Strip out all that nostalgia and stuff, and you're still left with really solid level design and gameplay, in my opinion. The only thing I would say... It feels slightly dated are the controls, but maybe that's just because I'm used to Odyssey and Odyssey really perfected Mario's movement in my opinion. Fast forward a year or two and Mario Galaxy 2 is just about to come out. Look, I know I said one game, but it's my channel, I can do whatever I want. I cannot tell you how many people I pissed off at my school playground by talking about this game non-stop. Hey man, I broke my leg at soccer practice last week. Oh yeah, that's great, but have you seen the new Kai Power up in Mario Galaxy 2? I remember getting my mum to call GameStop a few days before my birthday to buy Super Mario Galaxy 2 and how disappointed I was when they told her it wasn't releasing until May. But fast forward a month after my 7th birthday and the game released, I bought it and I had never been happier. The Galaxy games also have some of my favourite power-ups of all time. You got the cloud power-up which lets Mario spawn clouds as platforms to stand on and I think that's a really cool unique idea. The Rock Mushroom, which literally turns Mario into Dwayne John- I actually wrote that in the- I actually wrote that- the, the, I- literally, it's written down here. The Rock Mushroom, which literally turns Mario into Dwayne Johnson. Ha. I had to remind myself to laugh my- look, we'll just skip that one. Rock Mushroom's cool. And the slightly device of spring suit, which is the equivalent of putting an 8-year-old who just drank 10 Capri Suns in a straitjacket and hoping for the best. You also got that outstanding soundtrack. Songs like Good Egg Galaxy and Boy Base Galaxy with their orchestral feel booming in the background as you explore these planets is just simply amazing. Songs like Toy Time Galaxy and Puzzle Plank Galaxy are just an absolute joy to listen to, and if you don't smile while listening to it, then congratulations, you have no soul. You earned a gold medal! Then you have your more relaxing songs, like uh, Space Drunk Galaxy, which honestly is one of the most tranquil and peaceful tracks I've ever heard in a video game. I remember when I was like six and had both of my parents watch, sit down and watch me beat Bowser and I felt awesome. I couldn't count to 20 but I could kill a big turtle dude in space so that was pretty cool. That's another point in this game's favour in my opinion, specifically Galaxy 1. Bowser is an actual shred in this game, he's not just kidnapping Peach and hijacking her castle or something like that. He's planning to create an entire galaxy for him to rule, and the final boss really does feel important. Besides being a fun final boss in my opinion, the background music helps make this fight even more epic with the, like, a, a course, I guess you'd call it, joining in when you attack Bowser in the first two phases.
And once you finally beat Bowser and save Peach and the universe, whatever, uh, <laughs> you get the ending cutscene. I really love this ending because you get to see all the characters and enemies you've encountered through your journey all hanging out of Peach's castle just having fun. And we see Mario look up to the stars and say, Welcome! Welcome, New Galaxy! And then the credits roll. On the other hand, Mario Galaxy 2 is much more light in the story, which is one of the reasons I prefer Galaxy 1. But 2 also introduces a ton of cool new things like Yoshi and all of the various new power-ups such as the aforementioned Cloud Power-Up and Rock Mushroom uh, that weren't in Mario Galaxy 1 for example. But I honestly don't think that any Mario game, actually any game full stop, will ever beat Mario Galaxy for me. One thing that's always bothered me about Mario Odyssey is that it's meant to be a massive adventure exploring the world. Don't get me wrong here, I freaking love Odyssey, but when Mario's already been to space twice, traveling the world and going to the moon isn't as exciting. It's unfortunate and oftentimes sad we can't travel back to our childhood fully, but what you can do is make new memories, meet new people, play new games, and make more memories which in years to come will hopefully be nostalgic. And that's something that Mario games still allow me to do to this day. So, to the mustachioed plumber, and all the people who work on his games, thank you for basically making my childhood. Yeah, so with that, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and ciao. Why did I click my fingers? This is, this is a YouTube channel, not a magic show.